everyone, I hope you're all doing really well. So today I wanted to talk you through my everyday winter's makeup routine. If you follow me on Instagram, you will have seen I've been doing like Makeup Monday videos. Um, so I haven't been posting as many makeup tutorials on my YouTube recently. So if you want to see more makeup tutorials from me, then head over to my Instagram because there's lots on there. My Instagram is always linked in the description if you want to find it there. So yeah, I don't tend to talk through most of those videos, but I wanted to just sit down and share the products that I use on a daily basis in winter and also the kind of look I go for. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy this video. So I thought I'd just quickly show you what I'm keeping my makeup in at the moment because that is something that I think is very important to an everyday makeup routine. I have storage upstairs which holds most of my makeup and it's in those little acrylic things but I would never like reach into those on a daily basis. So I found that little makeup bags are much better and I just tip it all out um, and then I take, it doesn't take half as long in the morning either. So this is the makeup bag I've been using. It's from Kath Kidson but I got this one at Bista Village, so I think it's like eight pounds or something crazy. But I love that this one's just got two zipped ends and you can just see all your makeup. Even though I tip it out, I like to see everything I have in the makeup bag so you don't just get things sitting at the bottom that you never use. Um, and this side is normally full of brushes, but I just put a palette in um, because I do often reach for this face palette. So. Yeah, I'm gonna get started. So for foundation, I've been using the IT Cosmetics CC Plus Oil-Free Matte Full Coverage Cream. This has an SPF in it still, but I have been using my Pizpoin face cream every day and I've been really loving that as my base. So that's what I already have on my skin. I already have an SPF 50 and my moisturizer, which I've been using the Drunk Elephant daily moisturizer and the brush is also it cosmetics and it's the heavenly Lux complexion perfection brush in I think it's number seven I'm such a fan of it cosmetics foundations they just sit on my skin so well I have been trying out the Fenty foundation and it's really good shade match but I just can't get away from using my it cosmetics <laughs> for concealer I've been going between the collection lasting perfection concealer in the shade one fair I do find their shade zero way too well it's not way too light it's just quite chalky compared to the shade one um, so I still use shade one in that and then I also like to use the iconic London concealer and this is in the shade fair nude I'm going to stick with my old fave for today and go with the collection lasting perfection concealer because I have a huge spot on my forehead and I definitely want that covered today <laughs> so I like to put some down the center of my nose and then obviously on any spots and then I always sort of put some on my chin because I find that's the area that goes quickest for me I thought it'd be quite nice to film a makeup tutorial on here because I haven't put one on YouTube for a long time. <laughs> I've been doing Makeup Monday on my Instagram, so if you're not following me on Instagram and you want to see more of my makeup videos, then I do one pretty much every week, every Monday, put a little video up. But I don't really talk through those videos, they're just quite quick and just sort of giving you ideas on makeup looks. Um, whereas I wanted to talk to you about makeup today. <laughs> and share with you the products I've really been liking. To powder my face I've been using the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Press Powder and I take this brush from Hourglass and I take the little end first and just set around my eyes and then sort of on my chin and any areas that I definitely want to stay put all day. Then for bronzer I've been using the Benefit Hula Bronzer I've actually been really enjoying the Hoola Light bronzer, but today this is just seemingly what's in my makeup bag. And this brush has been a game changer in my bronzing world. <laughs> this is the Fenty Bronzer Brush. It's the number 190. And it's just got the most perfect angles to really fit in your cheekbone whilst also sort of blending it out on top. It's really 
amazing i'll show you i just take a tiny bit to start with and then i just pop it in my cheekbone going down sort of little down and up motions and flickering it up a bit and it just creates the most perfect contour line at the same time as just adding a nice bit of bronze and then i always make sure to take it up into the hairline around my temples and then i take it under the jaw as well just so that my neck doesn't look ridiculously pale <laughs> for blush i've been going between a dandelion blush and a bobbi brown cream blush but oh this palette honestly smells amazing it's the cheek leaders palette from Benefit and it's got two different bronzers, two different blush and a highlight and it's really good if you're in a rush basically. So I like to take a load of dandelion and load up on this Spectrum A04 brush and I just load it up onto my cheeks. I like a lot of blush. <laughs> I think if you're a redhead you really can't overdo it with the blush because if it is kind of overdone, it just looks like a porcelain doll sort of look. I don't know, I've just always loved wearing a lot of blusher. And once I've got eye makeup on and my brows are done, it looks less intense. And I also take a little bit just on the top of my nose and just through the ends of my eyebrows. And then on this little Real Technique setting brush, I'm going to take Tinkle, which is the highlight in this palette. And I'm just going to put that on top of my cheekbones, on my nose, down the centre of my nose, on my cupid's bow, a little bit on the chin, basically all the high points of my face and anywhere I can get away with putting highlights. <laughs> so that's my everyday base. I'm going to move you guys in a bit closer to do brows. So for brows I like to go between these three products. These two are the same, they are both the Fenty Brow MVP. Um, I often use the shade True Red and then if I'm feeling like I want a bit of a darker brow I use Dark Auburn. Um, but I've also been using the Benefit Brow Styler quite a lot. I'm not a fan of the powdery end, um, I just use it for the bit at the top which is the angled brush. I can't remember the name of that other product that is literally just this bit. It's honestly the quickest way to do your brows in the morning. I will show you. Because <laughs> you guys have seen me use this a lot on Instagram. So I always start out by brushing my eyebrows down and then just taking the top part of the styler and literally just outline the top and curve it down. And then it takes like two seconds to fill in. Then I always take my finger just over the top, just to sort of smudge it out a bit. Do a few flicks underneath. And that's a brow done. Like, that was so quick. And then I brush them up and that sort of blends it all together as well. And then to set my brows, I'm going to be using the 24 hour brow set from Benefit and oh my goodness if you buy any brow product this year it has to be this one because it sets like no other <laughs> I use the glossier boy brow and i love it but it doesn't keep my brows up all day it keeps them like bushier and dense but it doesn't stick your eyebrows into place whereas this one is just so perfect so that's brows done and I'm just going to put some lip balm on. This one is from m &S. This is like one pound and it is the best lip balm I've ever used. It's very um, pepperminty, um, which is the thing that put me off at the start. But honestly, if you're in M&S, they're normally found by like the self-checkout tills. They are so good. I have about six of them, just like in every coat pocket. For everyday eyeshadow, I often have just one palette that I reach for, um, and at the moment that's been the Urban Decay Naked Petite Heat Palette. This is what it looks like inside. But I've been using the shade Vibrate all over my eyelid, and then I go in with Heist and put that sort of on the outer corner and quite a lot underneath my eye. 
um, and then I finish it off with strike just along the lash line so that's my eye look that I'm going to do today so the first brush I use is from Spectrum and it is the C06 and I just take the shade Vibrate and put it across my eyelid sometimes I will put concealer on my eyelid before I put eyeshadow on um, just because sometimes if I've accidentally put too much powder from setting my face on my eyelids then my eyeshadow won't stick too much but because it's just an everyday look I don't really worry about it too much and then taking the shade Heist I just pop that in the corner of my eye and to do that I was just using a Fenty eyeshadow brush in number 200 and then the Fenty brush in 210 I like to use to sort of blend out that eyeshadow and then I'll take that same shade and take it underneath my lash line. Then with the Spectrum A13 brush, which is just a tiny little um, packing sort of brush, I take the darkest shade, which is Strike, and I just put it close to my lash line. The Too Faced Damn Girl Mascara has been my go-to mascara at the moment. It's funny because I actually started out hating this mascara, um, but now I use it literally every day, so <laughs> clearly don't hate it that much anymore. It adds so much darkness and like volume and just yumminess to my lashes, so I love it. For lips, I am always a bit of a creature of habit, and I always line them with a similar shade and put a similar shade on, but I find it's what suits me best. So I use the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Liner to start with, and then I take a tiny bit of the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Cairo. I've bought many of these in the past, it's just my favourite lip product ever. So I just put a tiny bit on rub my lips together and pat it in. My lips really can't cope with heavy lipstick, like Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks I can't really wear on an everyday basis because I will get that horrible white line inside my lips. Same with MAC lipsticks, same with most lipsticks. So that's what I found works best is doing a lip liner um, and then maybe just like my M&S lip balm and just keep topping that up throughout the day because my lips get so dry. And um, and the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream is what I found is fine with my lips as well. So there we have it, that is my everyday winter's makeup. So there we have it, those are the products I've been using on my face in my makeup routine for a while now. Um, I'm really happy with this little routine, I think it works really well. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments if you use any of the same products as me or if there's any products that you think I should be trying out at the moment because I'm always up for trying out new things. So yeah, I hope you guys are all having a great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye!